Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel, guys. In today's video, we'll be working on a Chevy Cruze, guys. And if you have a code P0171, guys, stay with us. We'll explain what could be causing that code, guys. We'll share at least, I can think, six, seven reasons, guys. So make sure you stay until the end. It could be any of those reasons. Quick introduction, guys. We will have more than 200 videos, guys on Chevy Cruze and every car we get at the shop because our mission is to save you guys as much money as we can so please subscribe to the channel and like the video guys it will mean a lot now if you guys need any tools parts uh, anything like that guys we have the link in the description of the video below to see where we get all our parts and tools from uh, that way if you need something you can check it out uh, the scanner that we usually use, okay, it's uh, Foxwell, this thing is amazing, it can read uh, and delete codes from the engine computer, ABS, traction control computer and airbag computers and even more, so definitely a good scanner guys, check it out, we have it listed. Now, code guys, P0171 guys, okay, it's a code that can be super tricky to, uh, to actually fix and we'll explain why now. So code P0171 uh, guys, P0171 indicates that you have a lean fuel mixture, lean condition. Now what you can think guys, okay lean condition, okay it could be that you're getting either too much air or you're not getting enough fuel. Which means that you will have more air in the mixture and not enough fuel to correspond to that air. Now that guys can be, okay can be super tricky and we will explain now uh, what can cause that. Most common reason guys is vacuum leak, can cause that vacuum leak means that, uh, okay let me explain how the system works, now you have your air filter, you have your mass airflow sensor, this is the sensor that detects how much, uh, how much air the engine gets, so if you guys get some extra air past, past that sensor, okay past that point it means that the engine does not know about that extra air and that extra air guys can be cause to get in the engine by a few factors. It could be a cracked intake boot, sometimes, okay, di check this thing out now. This one started cracking, okay, right there. Uh, if it starts leaking, okay, it's going to get some extra air. That's one of them. Second, guys, loose hose clamp on the throttle body. Throttle body gasket or another one. You can have a leak from the intake manifold gasket okay that's the one where it attaches to the cylinder head and really common one guys is the pcv valve pcv valve are no are known to cause that now guys and uh, the pcv valve is integrated in the valve cover this is the hose for the pcv valve what it does it actually takes that uh, extra pressure that's built in the engine and takes it to the intake and burns it one more time now uh, if that valve is stuck open you're going to get some extra air in the intake, the engine will not know that and it will cause that thing guys. So due to a vacuum leak or bad PCV valve. Now another thing guys could be a bad oxygen sensor. And in 90% of the time if it's oxygen sensor it will be the upstream oxygen sensor because this is the one responsible for the fuel and the air mixture. Okay, This is the one that tells how much fuel, how much air we are getting in the exhaust so we need to calculate and do something about that so we need to adjust it. So if the sensor is bad and it's sending the wrong information that could happen as well. Now it doesn't matter if you have a 1.4, 1.6, 1.8 engine the procedure is about the same. Now. We talked about vacuum leak, PCV valve, oxygen sensors, what else can cause that? It could be a dirty, okay, not clean, or, or uh, MAF, MAF, air, air, uh, MAF uh, sensor that is bad. This is known as mass airflow sensor. If it's dirty, it may not detect the correct amount of air. If it's uh, not working correctly, if it's bad, it may uh, send the wrong reading. So that could be one of them, guys. Another reason could be you have your fuel injectors right here on the back side of the engine. Fuel injectors that are clogged, that are not spraying enough fuel, that are out of balance, not working correctly, that can cause that as well. Uh, because let's say the injector is uh, clogged and it's not spraying 100% of the amount of fuel it's supposed to, let's say it just sprays 40% of what it's supposed to spray. What will happen, you end up having too much air and not enough fuel in that cylinder and as a result that code will be activated uh, sooner or later. Another thing guys, okay, even could be caused by a dirty air filter. If your air filter is dirty and the car cannot get enough air, that can happen. Uh, or uh, air filter that uh, sometimes they have the sport air filters that can get too much air, that can trigger that light as well. And 
Uh, one of the last ones will be a dirty corked up fuel filter. That will not allow the car to get, uh, to get enough fuel under acceleration, let's say hard acceleration is as a result that code can be triggered guys. So quite a few things that can trigger that code but hopefully that will uh, lead you in the right direction. Please guys uh, hit that subscribe button for more videos, hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.